A strange thing about standardized work is that standards are in fact about change, about teaching you to change. Uh, this is not existential change, this is, this is actual very concrete change. Uh, what I want to do is to develop my flexibility. So I have two problems. First, my customers might want a different thing from one day to the next. If I only do one thing, sometimes I can deliver, sometimes I can. So I need to be able to do A when they want A, or B when they want B, or C. So I need to be able to handle very well A, B, and C, and change between it. Also, my customers might want to change the volume of what they ask. So sometimes I want to work with an entire team. Everybody does it, doing a little bit of the job. And sometimes I want to work alone because I have plenty of time to do what the customer wants. So we have two kinds of changes here, two kinds of flexibility here. One is flexibility in mix, I want to vary, and flexibility in volume, I want to change the quantity. So how, how would standards, which imply the idea that everything's always the same, help with change? Now this is an exciting thing. This is a misunderstanding about standards. Standards are not about doing everything the same. They're not about turning into people into robots. They're on the contrary, about helping people learn to do different things. I'm a writer, so I can write and do a lot of things. Then I have to learn, I also do Gemba, so I, I, I coach CEOs on the Gemba. It's a different thing. I have to change from writing and to coaching. This I have learned uh, through 20 years experience. But occasionally I have to do something completely different, which I'm really not good at. So recently I had to host a, a, a conference. So I'm the host. What do I know about being the host? So I can either go up there and improvise myself as a host, and then I will learn. It will just take 10,000 hours. Or I start with a standard. This is what I did. I went onto the internet, I looked at all the hosting tips, and it says, hey, one, thank them, two, praise their results, three, ask for a seminal moment or experience, four, um, take three questions from the audience, five, ask, the, ask the, the speaker to give one last takeaway for the audience, and six, remember the drama is good, even bad interaction is good, drama is good, and seven, make everybody clap all the time. It's a standard. Now, this is, this is not a standard, this is not something I have to conform with. This is something that helps me start to become better. This is something where I can see the difference while I'm doing it between how I'm hosting and the ideal host. It, it helps me bridge that gap. How do I score myself? Well, standards have two, two elements. One is standard performance. I need to score myself, for instance, in my performance as a host. And standards have key steps. And on each of these steps, I can score myself. And the idea of a score is I know that to be okay at this new task, or in this case, okay at hosting, I have to be at least 80% good at all these seven items. I have seven steps to go through, and I have to be at least 80%. Now, the key about standard is linked to Kaizen. I also know every time, every cycle I do this again, I have to work on a plus alpha. I have to choose one specific part of hosting that I'm gonna do just this bit better. But this score is very clear. Am I following, am I reaching the global performance, the standard performance compared to the ideal, how far I am from, compared from my ideal host, one. And two, step by step, am I reaching at least 80% on each of the key steps? The, 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 the last thing about this is once I, I'm scoring myself, I also have a, a search method to become a better host. Because now I can look at each step and ask myself, how far was I from the ideal? The standard doesn't limit me. The standard frees me. Because the standard enables me to see where are my main gaps? Where, where it tells me if I want to progress and try something new, it tells me exactly where I want to, where I have to look at. Um, uh, clearly, um, did I thank them enough? Did I praise their results enough? Did I find the right seminal moment? 
and or did I learn to do all of this with different language that nobody notices? But do you see what I mean? I, I, by, by looking at each of the steps and watching the place where there's a greater gap between what I do casually and the standard, I will improve. The beauty of this learning method, of course, is that as I work on improving one step, I will usually open my eyes and discover things about hosting I had never imagined. And this is what I see. This is my, my, my game. The standard is the starting point. If I master this initial standard, I will realize things that are missing in the standard. Maybe something about the way I speak. Maybe something in the way I smile. Maybe something in the way I breathe. I don't know. It's, it's exploration. And maybe I will discover one new step that will be so extraordinary that it will become a standard for others. So standardized work, which is understanding the time of the total cycle and breaking down into steps, is not about putting people in a straitjacket to turning them into robots. It's contrary, it's liberating. It's the method that will increase your flexibility because you will learn to do new tasks so that you can participate to the team and contribute and be more flexible. And you will learn to have, a, as you do the work, a way to look at your own way to work as well, as well to see where your gaps are, to explore new dimensions. And of course, this is linked to Kaizen because sometimes you will find opportunities to do something you haven't thought about before and look for the next step of the standard. So standards work, again, this is not operating procedures. This is not about using humans to work as robots because we couldn't find a robot flexible enough, not at all. This is about channeling the, the inner talent of the person and the natural way to work in a way that the person can see an ideal. And, and just as when you draw it's your, your eye that draws the pencil. Your eye makes the drawing and the, and the pencil so on. And here, the standard draws how you work and is what makes you grow and reach out and seek excellence and ongoing progress.